Components appear magically on the board after an ECO, pulled out of the corresponding libraries. Most of the time these footprints will work fine, but best practices dictate double checking. After looking at the data sheet, or for some other reason, you might find you have to make modifications to the footprint. If these changes are unique and do not require replication, All Team Designer supports the ability to edit the footprints directly in the PCB editor. This saves time and does not clutter up your libraries with redundant footprints. To make changes to these footprints, we have to unlock the primitives that make up the footprint. To do this, select the component and disable the corresponding option in the Properties panel. Once done, we can edit the footprint primitives as if we were in the library editor. You can change parameters of primitives, change their coordinates, and even delete some of them. After editing, we recommend re-enabling primitive locking. We can also add additional objects to the footprint. Create the needed additions first, separately from the component, and then position them as needed. These additional objects can be of any type. Then unlock the primitives from the footprint that needs to be modified. After selecting the primitives to be added, run Tools Convert, add selected primitives to component, and specify the target footprint. After running this command, you can relock the component primitives. The new objects will become one with the footprint in this design. And finally, the footprints can be reverted to their original state by right-clicking and selecting Component Actions, Update Selected Components from PCB Libraries.